YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here after you hit the subscribe button if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to my secondary YouTube channel, Tony Harvin Network. This here is regular conversation number 27, regular conversation number 27. And we're here to talk about, you know, what was mentioned over the broadcast during the weekend and a, uh, a message that I received. You understand? I know my disclaimer. I'm not a pastor preacher. I don't hold any type of office in the church. So please, excuse me, do not lay claims of those titles on me. We're not here to violate any type of community guidelines, any type of copyright infringement for sure. Shout out to everybody in the chat room, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat room and whatnot. You know what I mean? I, I think I was, you know, doing a conversational video the other day, whereas though Mr. Robinson came in on the chat room and mentioned that, you know, he had agreed on a biblical discussion uh, with Gino Jennings. So we're just going to talk about it a little bit and uh, whatnot. Let me shout out to everybody in the chat room for sure. Hope everybody had a good day today uh, and whatnot. All right. Um, uh, first, I want to say this. I know we had some news today. Some people heard about it and what have you with the Maryland situation and whatnot. You know, stuff like that. You know, it's tragic situations where it's though, uh, uh, you know, a bridge collapsed out there in Maryland and whatnot due to a ship hitting uh, the, the bridge and what have you and things like that. You know what I mean? Every day, every day is something happening and definitely got to respect God. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. All right. What's up to Henry Ross? Shout out to you. What's up to Water, Blood, Spirit? Um, I don't know what you're talking about as far as um, can you do quarter of water next? I don't I don't know what you mean, man. You're talking about a quarter of water. I don't know what you're talking about. What's up to Courtney M? Shout out to you. You stated that I posted a question on the Johnny's video uh, a, a couple of days ago. I was nice and clear and professional. And I'm curious to know if you will answer. I would like an answer regardless uh, if, if it'll be happening. So um, I was sent a link to my Facebook page, my Facebook inbox and whatnot. You know, you know me. Normally, I don't watch videos of fellas, you know what I'm saying, ranting and raving about, <laughs> about you know what I'm saying, the true of God and whatnot. I don't watch them at all. But today... I took my time out only because, only because he met with Gino. That was it. You understand that? That was it. Other than that, I wouldn't waste my time on listening to these fellas and whatnot. So the man, Johnny Robinson, all right, if I could share, um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, um, you know, share all of his videos and whatnot, but I will share this one right here. Here we go. The man Johnny Robinson went to Richmond, Virginia. You know, he explained he went to Richmond, Virginia to have a meeting with Gino. <laughs> and he put it on his YouTube channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he recorded it, mainly audio recording. I'm not sure if he got the full video extent. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you can hear Jim in the background and stuff like that. So the man went to Richmond, Virginia to have a meeting with Gino Jennings, as he stated in his comments. He stated that um, when he made a comment the other day, you know, on my youth, on my uh, on one of my videos, on one of my videos, uh, number twenty-five. He came into the uh, the chat room and what have you. And I'm just gonna mute myself out because I want to get rid of the bottom part. All right, so if you can look at the bottom of the video, you'll see Johnny Robinson. He wrote a message. He said, I met Pastor Gino in private. He agreed to debate Johnny Robinson. So Mr. Johnny Robinson stated that Gino Jennings agreed to have a biblical discussion with him. That's what Mr. Robinson said, not Tony Harvin. I'm just going by what he said. What he wrote on the video, number 25, you know what I mean? As he and his son 
uh, comes on my channel once in a while. I believe his son name is Come Back to Bible or something like that on YouTube and what have you on TikTok. So, I mean, a man seems to be respectful. <laughs> The man seems to be respectful. I, I'll give him credit on that one. You know, he's not running around on YouTube, um, disrespecting people's families and stuff like that, putting up foolishness like these other trolls and whatnot. I will say there's going to be some upset trolls at Mr. Robinson. Why? Because if it's confirmed that you get in a biblical discussion, man, they're going to be mad. They're going to be upset. You know what I mean? Because a lot of them is scratching and pawing to get a biblical discussion. You know what I mean? All it takes is just being respectful. That's it. At the end of the day, this is in general. This is man to man. So you got to respect a man who wants to have a cultural conversation to agree uh, with a biblical discussion. That's in uh, conversation 25. He wrote that and what have you and things like that. Now, let me go back to the chat room, shout some more people out. My fault. What's up, Nicole Martin, one of my channel moderators? What's up to uh, Heat? Shout out to you, whole ball as well. Um, he says, "Why did he call?" He says, "Why did he call Pastor Gino the Antichrist?" Listen, many, many, many say that. Many trolls say that. I guess they don't read the scriptures too well when they say something like that, or they refer to the characteristics of an Antichrist. You know, people are gonna say a lot. The Antichrist, Muslim, charlatan. They call him other men. You understand that? This this is what people do. You know what I mean? If they have a, a, a serious disagreement with a person at the end of the day, they start calling people names uh, and whatnot. You know? All right? He says, wonder if he's going to be on here tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's up, the Bless Bless? Appreciate that at Courtney M. What's up to OC? What's up to AG? What's up to Just Straight Facts? Um, what's up to Brenda Todd? Hope all is well. What's up to uh, Anthony Liggins? All right, we talked we talked a little bit a bit about the uh, the Maryland Bridge and whatnot in the beginning. I don't I don't want to make it seem like this uh, video is about the Maryland Bridge. Situations happen. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? Situations happen. Just be blessed that none of us was on it. You know what I mean? I know a lot of us can't swim, you know? So just think about it. There's, there's probably some people on that bridge that didn't know Christ or rebelled against Christ, but yet we still have an opportunity to get right. They didn't know that was going to happen. You know, two people survived, I believe. That was the update. Man, they must have been praying. You understand? Just imagine you're on the bridge and that's it for you. You're done. Your time is up. You know? Unless the Lord have mercy on you. That's a serious situation, especially though if, well, hey, I don't think no kids going to be, no babies going to be out there that late at night. You understand? All right? What's up, Gino P? He says, I, he says, I don't see that the beat taking long at all. <laughs> ah, man, that's funny. What's up, the gin? What's up, the gin? Shout out to you. He says, all I know is mouth going to be stopped and it ain't going to be PJ. What's up, the Larry J? He says, well, we know how this is going to turn out. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Listen, many people think, okay, I disagree with the guy, I disagree with this person, but they don't know. It's a difference when you up there having a biblical discussion. You know what I mean? The nerves, the heat is on. It doesn't matter where it takes place, for sure. So now, a man, he stated that he'd been trying to get a, a biblical discussion for 24 years. 24 years ago, I was 15. That's a long time, man. Now you possibly got the opportunity after 24 years of trying to get a biblical discussion. You know what I mean? After 24 years, the man been trying. You understand? Scratching and pawing at the door to get the doorknob open. 
Now you got your foot in the door after 24 years. You understand to possibly get a biblical discussion. You know what I mean? Henry Ross states that that's respect, but he'll get a holy education. Um, that Bible. What's up to Michael Jackson? Uh, G Swole says, uh, what up? You said, so what's the subject for the debate they're going to have? Well, he said they had a private conversation, so I don't know too much about that one. You understand? Whatever they discussed in private, you know, I would hope Mr. Robinson uh, didn't have his audio recording on. You know, because if you're having a private conversation and a person didn't agree to being recorded, <coughs> you know, that could be a possible crime in certain states. You know what I mean? So be careful. It could be possibly a crime when you see you're recording somebody and they don't even know it without their consent. You know? All right? So be careful. But I will hope he don't... I'm not saying he did, but, you know, a private conversation that they discussed, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's between them two. And when it comes out, we'll know. You know what I'm saying? We'll definitely know. And I hope it's in Charlotte, man. I really do, coming up in July. I really hope it's in Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really, really do. What's up to Sheila Davis? What up, what up, what up? Uh, Jen says, I think he secret recorded Gino in his office. What a lowdown uh, degenerate. I told him to get some help and to grow up in his big old, I ain't going to say that part. <laughs> I ain't going to say that part because Lord willing, one day we might get that age. Are you really you listen? You really let them have it. You know what I mean? I, I took my foot off the gas just a little bit on off of him. <laughs> just a little bit. I took it off, but listen, you want to have your way on him? Go ahead. <laughs> you understand? Go ahead. But one one can't call themselves of God if you're going around secret recording people. And that's what I'm not saying, you know, he did that. He had it on for a little bit. But as far as like the conversation, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know at the end of the day. I heard a little bit of the video as he was there at the, uh, you know, in Richmond uh, where Gino was at this past weekend and whatnot. But I would hope, I would hope he didn't see the recording because what does that make that person? You know what I mean? It's a sad thing. If a person uh, professed to be a Christian, you know what I mean, I profess Christ and they're going around uh, secretly recording things, you know what I mean? I, I, how, how is it? I can't even have a talk without somebody having trying to secretly record me. That's what a lot of these trolls do out here. And they try to, and they think it's holy to do something like that. You know what I mean? There's been a lot of people doing that, all right? Um, What's up to let your light shine? Shout out to you. Uh, hope all is well and everybody else. Um, he says, uh, that's very important. You can't swim. Well, check this out. Swimming, I ain't concerned about right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm getting on something that's going to be a raft. You know what I mean? I probably not to tread water a little bit, but they said the waters was cold. And you only had about seven minutes to survive. Seven minutes. You know? So you can know you can know how to swim, but them cold temperatures in that water. You understand? About seven seven minutes to live. I'm grabbing on something if I'm alive. You know, the first thing you do, I believe, now I don't want to paranoid nobody. I heard somebody say they rolled down a window if they was going through a situation like that, which is clever. You know, it was a tractor trailer on that bridge too. Man, you understand? Man, one o'clock in the morning, booty call hours. Just imagine couple of people going out there getting trying to get some booty calls and next thing you know the bridge collapsed ain't that something they so excited rubbing their chops they're about to get something good but boom 
it's doomsday for them. You understand? And I know some of y'all behind this uh, camera is laughing. You know, but it's the truth. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't want to talk. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much about that Maryland situation because I, I had this in mind early in the morning. But then somebody messaged me about this Maryland thing, and I'm like, I know people going to talk about it on here. I know they are. You know, that's going to paranoid a lot of people. Listen, the bridge is going to fall on Johnny Robinson in that biblical discussion with scriptures. Now, I made the video that, you know, he will get crushed by PJ. And um, where's the video at? We're going to share the, we're going to share a little bit of it. All right. Um, hmm. So this is the video. So he got my thumbnail in his background. <laughs> he got the thumbnail that I made for regular conversation number 20, excuse me, number 17 in his uh, background. You know? And um, I, I believe he mentions my name in here somewhere. Let me see. But when we're talking about the power of the gospel... It is nothing is impossible. And I have had interactions with General Jennings all this time. And only a couple of times have I been disappointed in him personally. And what I mean by that is the way he, our relationship had gone, I felt one way about him and then something else happened. And I. Relationship? You act like I, you act like I was playing in the sandbox together. Relationship? What? Like, like I grew up together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me read some of these comments. Uh, what's up? The Mary who says blessings. He says, and everyone here, he's a lion mm, fool, Johnny Robinson. Uh, Gino P says, hope Johnny goes down in water after he loses. <laughs> Henry Ross said, that's respect for him, but uh, he will... Get a holy biblical soaking from uh, God within uh, PJ. John Smith, what up, what up, what up? Um, you stated that I pray God opens Johnny's uh, and Cruz's eyes and ears on that day. Mm. <laughs> Courtney M said he should be better studied by now, uh, allegedly. They laughing at 24 years, man. 24 years. You know, 24 years. OC says Johnny better make sure he bring Bible to back up what um, he, because PJ is all about Bible. He said Johnny wants some spotlight or traffic lights. He says they're cloud folk. Uh, I'm not going to read that. He, <laughs> I'm not going to read that. You know what I mean? I'm not going to read that. I can't. It's funny, but I'm not going to read that part. You wrote at around 6.38 p.m. That's that's funny, but Lord, forgive me, please. <laughs> forgive me. I don't mean to laugh at that, but forgive me. All right. AG stated that, well, get that age and um, but mature and not uh, degenerate. What's up to Bob T? Shout out to you. Um. Um, here goes another troll. We know who this is, right? This got to be uh Saint Doofus. That's him. Because that's that's the that's the whole perception of his writing. He writes like that. He comes up with these different names, Horace. You know what I mean? Uh stupid the dog. You know what I mean? Dummy the mouse. Now he's coming up with Horace. You know what I mean? So he must have been looking on his uh channel because you have somebody over here named scotty pimpin you know what i mean and i call him number 33 so now you got horace and you most likely you got the name from horace grant who played for the chicago bulls and the orlando magics you know what i mean listen nobody falling for the okie doke saint doofus you know he said this whole thing ain't nothing but clout chasing there are a lot there are a lot that tony don't know I've seen and know things, and they block me on the site. They only want notables. I don't care what you know. Who cares? 
You know what I mean? I don't care what you know. I don't care if you know the circumference to the earth minus the square root of five times one million minus one billion. I don't care. <laughs> if you know so much, then why you ain't going to do your own thing then? To let the whole world know. You on this channel, which is, you know, a little, a little small platform that's kind of growing a little bit and whatnot. You know what I mean? There's a whole, there's billions of people in this world that you could, you know, go reach. Why are you focusing on Tony Harbin? You know what I mean? Uh, a human being from Jersey City. You know, if you know so much. He said, I know things. Okay, so what? Now what? Okay, you know things. Now what? Now, now what you want us to do? We always put the link in the chat room for trolls. You never come on. Excuse me. You rarely come on. All they, all you want to do is keyboard. That's it all day. We give you the link to come in the chat room, and only one, I believe, came on, and that was it. Uh, drone shots. <laughs> that was it. The rest of y'all, you just, you just want to talk in the chat room all day. All right? He said they blocked me. Ain't nobody blocked on this channel, man. Ain't nobody blocked on here. You know, and whatever the, whoever the moderator is blocked, I release them off this channel because I don't want nobody blocked on here unless you use profanity or unless you get real disrespectful. Other than that, this channel is raw, raw and uncut. The other channel, yes, you will get blocked. But this channel, you will not get blocked unless you use profanity and disrespectful. That's it. All right, what's up to Mr. Ham? He said, I did watch one of Johnny's uh, video. He was going around in circles in this teaching. I left. <laughs> he was going around in circles. All right, let me see if I can find um, where he mentioned. Let's go back to 1840. Let's see. I come to a television broadcast station with me, which was three, four blocks away from where he was. He sat in his hotel room and listened to me talk about him. And one of the ladies said, you call that man an antichrist. You can't do that. Listen, I can, I did, and I will until we fix this. And so, you know, I don't know how you look at people when you're saying that they are your adversary. Look, this man, it is nothing is impossible. A couple times have I been disappointed I think we heard that one. The next, the third time I saw him, yeah. I think that I could have been his guest because of what happened here in Richmond this past weekend. Now, I want to address what you see here. Here it says, trolling pastor. This was. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy's funny. Let's go to the comments. G Swan says, You think he's going to. Uh, uh, get ushered out like Vegas. That had me laughing when PJ kept saying, usher him out, unplug his microphone, usher him out. Well, I don't think so. You know, I don't think Mr. Robertson is immature like Mr. Vegas. I give him credit on that one. You know what I mean? Mr. Vegas was very immature and he thought, you know, some people feel big and bad. They feel like the Incredible Hulk, like they run something. But you got to understand, you know what I mean? It's not where you're from, it's where you're at, you know? And what you're trying to do and what you cannot do at the end of the day. You know, Mr. Vegas was stupid. What you think you coming up in, in there with a geek, you and him in there, and y'all think they're going to run some, something? No. Churches like uh, True of God will throw you out. And some organizations, you know, will pound you out. You understand? So I don't think uh, Mr. Robinson is going to be like Mr. Vegas. You know, unlike Vegas, you know, Mr. Robinson got a, a little bit of biblical knowledge. I give him credit on that one. He, he do study. Unlike Mr. Vegas, you know, he probably studied that same week. He never touched the Bible probably a day in his life and happened to study that week for that debate with Gino out there in uh, Jamaica. All right. Hmm. Okay, uh, he said drone fell. <laughs> Mr. Robinson, you on here. Yeah. It was literally eight days ago that Tony Harbin did this broadcast. Tony Harbin is connected to Geno Jens. I don't know how necessarily. 
He puts it up this way. He said, Geno Jennings would crush Johnny Robertson in a biblical debate. Well, hey, you know what I mean? I'm listen. This is what I this is what I think at the end of the day. For sure. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you feel that way about yourself. You know? Um, just straight facts says PJ is is uh about the best thing that happened in my life. Bring nothing but truth, uh, word of God. Mm, for sure. Um, he says, I told you Robinson is a fan and a hater too, Tony. <laughs> Johnny Robinson, you says, at least he listened to you and no longer holding banners outside TOG headquarters, shouting for Gino like a lunatic. Mm. Well, I would, um, I would, I would give. I would give you know trolls advice on how to go about a biblical discussion based upon what Gino says in his videos. If anybody's interested in a biblical discussion, just go try to have a respectful conversation. Simple as that. At the end of the day, you know. And if a person is not interested in you, then hey, it is what it is. Keep it moving. You know, it's hundreds and thousands of you know uh, haters and trolls and whatnot. How can one man, if if one man, hypothetically speaking, decides to debate everybody? You know what I mean? Where where would he get the time from? You know what I mean? Thousands of people out there. You gotta you gotta debate somebody every day. You understand that? You you you, you see how people uh, think he's supposed to debate me. I want to debate him. I want to have a discussion. He's supposed to have a discussion with me. No me. No me. No me. No me. Oh, he's scared. He's scared. He's scared. Doesn't make no sense. You got to, you got to, you got to think. You got to think. And a lot of these trolls out here think they're the only ones who's calling for a discussion, who's calling for a debate. There's thousands. There's thousands of people who want to have a discussion. You know what I mean? Thousands. You see the videos on YouTube, Facebook, you know, people tagging me on TikTok, emailing me. Know what I mean? Like I'm a message boy. No. Out of my whole eight years putting up the truth of God, I only uh, suggested two people. That was it. That was it. No, one and a half. That was it. That was it. You know what I mean? I, I don't go around. Okay, let me bug. Let me bug the minister. Um, such and such wanted to debate him. Uh, next day, such and such wanted to debate him. I don't bug Gino at all. You know what I mean? I'm I'm busy, and I'm pretty sure he's busier. I know I'm busy every day, and I know he's probably ten times as busy as, as I am. You know, so I wouldn't want if me personally would want nobody to bug me every day. I know how he feel. <laughs> you understand that? Once in a while, you know, he'll call. What's up, brother Hobbin? You know how he talk and whatnot. <laughs> and you know, once in a while, we chop it up a little bit. Because the man is busy. All right? So shout out to him in the whole first church. You says, did he read it today by FBI? Well, wow, what's going on in the news today? Diddy, Marilyn, a lot of stuff is going on. But I'm pretty sure he's going to buy his way out. You know what I mean? He's going to buy his way out. You know? All right, what's up, the G man? Uh, what is that? Seagree, not the not G man, the uh, the debater. That's not him. Um, what's up, the Michael Hollinsworth? He says, "Greetings, brother Harvin. Let's hope Johnny uh, puts down his uh, protest sign and just debate him respectfully." Um, he says, "If he if it not, he can put up that sign all he wants. He just wasting uh, his time." Hmm. He said, St. Louis, I thought you were cool. What happened? You a troll now? No, St. Louis never been cool. Never been. You know, I just not, I just separate the personal stuff from the, uh, you know, the business stuff, the debates. Just like with um, Brother Jay, Jordan Davis on the L.C. Mathis. You know what I mean? 
Um, I know how to differentiate things. You know, some of them guys, they got too much pride. I allow them to come on still to make themselves look like a fool. That's why I did. That's why I allow most of them on the biblical discussion platform to make themselves look like a fool. That was that was my whole thing about it. I said, you know what? From the beginning, nobody knew what my what what my mission was. Only me. That's it. <laughs> you know. I said, I know I could take some of these trolls out here. All right. You put them on a platform and watch them bury themselves. You understand? <laughs> that was my whole thing about it. To let these trolls bury themselves. And a lot of them did. You know, at the end of the day, we're talking about the trolls. That's what we're talking about. Granted that some, some people, you know, they spoke some good stuff. They spoke some good stuff, but we're talking about the trolls mainly who buried themselves, like St. Doofus. He's one of them. You know, like uh, Brother Jay. You know, where he at? Let's get Brother Jay on deck right quick. Where he at right here? We're going to get Brother Jay on deck. You know what I'm saying? The holiness Mormon, or whatever you want to call him. You know? The man who 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 tried to come see me, but yet still came on the platform afterwards. What a fool! You understand? <laughs> what a fool! I just wanted I just wanted to show people uh, how much people look for clout. You know what I mean? That's why I allowed him back on the biblical discussion platform, even after trying to make an attempt to see Tony Harvey. I wanted to show the people how much of a fool these people can be. You know what I mean? They ain't doing it from the sincerity of their heart. They doing it for clout and attention. What a fool. <laughs> you know, I can play chess too. You know, that's another fool who's looking for a debate. How you only been in, how you only been in it for about two or three years and you think you could take on Gino? I don't get it. A few years, I believe. You know, I don't understand, granted that, you know, people can become ministers quick by the grace of God and stuff like that. But you, I don't know who made you a minister. You know what I mean? I don't know because this guy, he can't debate worth nothing. Him and Petrie, they can't debate worth nothing. You know what I mean? But I see where they get their residue from. L.C. Mathis, the cornball. You know, are you talking about somebody stole your gospel? Stole your gospel? Who listen to you? You know, who want to sit there and listen to you, take notes, and put it on a uh, broadcast? I don't know anybody that would do such a thing. Who would waste their time listening to an L.C. Mathis and, 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 and you know, uh, plagiarizing his sermons? Who would do that? I don't know um, at all. All right. Let's go to more comments. Um, what's up to Valerie Stewart? What up, what up, what up? Nicole says, Tony told us not to block no one. So if no one is blocked, that was not me who blocked them. Maybe I did it. Maybe me, you know. Sometimes I, I think I'm on the first channel sometimes. But, you know, we'll see. You said, did he call you soft hands? Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about those terms from another man calling another man soft hands now. I don't know, man. I told you these these trolls, man, they be saying some they be saying some stuff, man, that you know it makes you think. Like I don't I don't know. I ain't calling nobody no soft no man no soft hands. I don't care how much I disagree with him call another man soft hands what <laughs> you see how you see how the, the, the foolishness that comes out these folks mouths and they don't even catch it what man calls another man soft hands i don't find nothing funny about that now if you said something funny i'll make you a little chuckle but calling another man soft hands whoa whoa you understand whoa 
John Smith says, that man is crazy. Why don't he fix his own city first before he goes after Gino? Tuh. Tuh. <laughs> oh, man. He said he gives up Harry Knox vibes. This debate ain't going to be fair. Harry Knox. What's up to uh, Ernest? He says, how did... How come he didn't come to come into church when Gino invited him? They had a meeting. They had a meeting. Um, he got it on his channel and whatnot. Let me see if this if this is the video. I'm not too quite sure. Um, let me see if I can find it because he recorded it a little bit. All right, he recorded it a little bit. So he was in Richmond, Virginia. He was there. He was sitting down. See, it says right here, it says, Johnny meets Gino Richmond debate talk. So he was in Richmond, and I'm just fast-forwarding through it, and I'm trying to find the uh, the other video, where as though um, it showed him, you know, walking into, walking to some area with uh, seeing Gino, all right? So I'm trying to find this video right fast, right quick, so just bear with me. So the man, Johnny Robinson, you know, um, you know, he was recording, you know, granted that, you know, that's what I'm not justifying it, but that's what people are going to do. Um, I guess just to try to have some proof or whatever the case may be. Um, let me see if this, this video, as we come to it right now, I'm on his, uh, YouTube channel. And, uh, I remember viewing it. Cannot find it no more. All right. Let's share the tab right quick. All right. We're sharing the tab. So this is his channel, whatever the case may be. Um, so right here, <clears throat> okay. It says Rocky Mount, uh, North Carolina. Uh, okay, right there. It says, is the beat coming soon? Might have a commercial coming up on this one. Yep. Yep. So the channel might be, you know, monetized or whatever the case may be. Well, that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you, you get it, you get it. Whatever the case may be. All right, so let me see if I can find it. Um, man, this is real long, man. I was trying to find it. I can't find it. I saw it earlier. They got to give me some more time on this one. Let's go to the comments right quick. Michael Hollisworth says, Vegas couldn't uh, give Bible, scripture, or verse. He was just a waste of time. Mm. Wow. Okay, I think I, I, think I know where it's at. It might be at the end of this this video right here. I was looking in the beginning. I think it's at the end. I'm not sure. Let's let's go check it out. Okay, so at the end of this video, let's go check it out. Let's see. Am I the first? One, am I the first one in? So he he, he says he asks the question. Am I the first one in? He see got the caption. At the top of the video. You see that? So he was recording. The man was recording. Man. The man was recording his, uh, you know, when he stepped into me. Now, I don't know if he recorded it. The conversation, you know, I don't know. Henry Ross states that why don't they just preach Jesus Christ and not worry about PJs? It's sad. Do they know Jesus Christ is coming? What's up, the William Shepherd? What up? What up? What up? Shout out to you, Michael J uh, Jackson says it's, it's really not about winning or losing. It's it's, it's about the truth, winning souls and not the beats. You know, when you said that, the song came to my head, black or white, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bob Michael Jackson, when you said that, it sounded like that's where you got the rhythm from, you know? All right? Michael Hollinsworth says, this guy trolls, this guy trolls and hates, uh, wants to face PJ, but is not prepared to win a argument. G. Swole says, how did you get close to PJ? Mm. He said, this man is retired. Mm. Mm. Is... Oh, man, y'all harsh. 
Y'all, listen, y'all got the foot on that gas on this man. <laughs> usually, listen, usually it's me just ripping away. Y'all ain't letting up with this fella right here. Wow. <laughs> he said, this man is a retired, miserable, bored person, and I'm not going to finish the rest. Wow. Wow. Um, let me see. They're talking about Diddy now. All right. Just straight fact says, um, when uh, PJ debate with these guys, why they want to fight? Well, I can only remember um, one, which was Mr. Vegas. And I think it was another one that Gino talked about. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was uh, a person called Prophet Forte. Um, he had a minor testimony about how the man put his hands on him in a discussion. I think that that was it. But I don't think that's on the Internet or whatever the case may be. Prophet Forte and Gino. But I think that's the person's name in that situation that happened. What's up, Thelma? What up, what up, what up? Shout out to you. What's up, to, uh, Toya? David B. Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Bob T says, um, Mr. Robinson is a Trinity trash. Wow. Wow, well, I ain't gonna say that one at EG. Oh, oh, you talking about um? Oh, you talking about uh, brother J? <laughs> Yo, you ain't getting away from this photo, dude. You ain't getting away from this one. You know? Nah, uh, uh it's going down in the books. <laughs> That's going down in the books for sure, brother J. Where you at, man? I know you're probably listening in. You know? All right. Michelle says, Mr. Robinson said that it took 24 years to get the debate. He said that Geno Jennings have the largest congregation than anybody. Uh, they disagree on Trinity and baptism. He had nothing negative to say. And that's true. That's why I gave him credit in the beginning of, you know, uh, him being respectful and whatnot and things of that nature. All right, but you shouldn't. We, of course, you know it's the internet, it's social media, it's YouTube, and people is going to rip you apart. They're gonna rip you apart. You know what I mean? Some of it is real funny. I must say, you know, some of the stuff I can't read, I can only laugh at it uh, and whatnot. But you're right, um, for sure. All right. Um, let's see what he say at the end right here. Mr. Jennings. <laughs> Robert. I saw that look on your face. Jennings, Robertson. I saw that look on your face. 24 years. 24 years. So I, I look like he gave him a handshake and a little, you know, without a little hug and whatnot. 24 years. Man, that's a long time, man. That's a long time. 24 years. All right. Um... Well, I miss what's up with Christopher Span? Shout out to you. Uh, one of my channel moderators. Hope all is well. Um, you said the devil can make them think anything is possible just to find out they have been deceived. They are not biblically sound to face my pastor Geno Jennings. Wonderful. What's up, the classified information? Um, you says greetings. You says good evening. Excuse me, fam. Mods, brother Tony just getting um home after a um wonderful work. And Jonah, if you're in here, what is your email? You understand? Because you said you sent the email and I don't see it. If Jonah is in here, you know, I don't see your email in my uh Yahoo account. I don't see your email. I have to relook, but I don't see your email. Michelle says about uh, you, he talked about the video that you put up. He said that he don't know how you are connected with Gino. He asked if you would be ready to eat crow when Gino lost. That was really it. Eat crow. Listen, I'm from Jersey, man. I don't know how y'all doing in the South and whatnot, but I don't know what that means now. I might take that a different way now. Up in Jersey, that might mean something else. I don't, I don't know what that means, dude. Eat crow. 
Somebody from the South, let me know what does eat crow mean? Because obviously the man don't know I'm originally from Jersey City, New Jersey. I've only been down here in the South about like two years, and that's it. You know, sometimes I want to go back up north. I want to go back uh, for sure. I want to go in like the um, the Burlington, Philadelphia area. You know what I mean? When it's the little South Fat, they got the nice houses and whatnot, Willem Borough and what have you. Not too expensive on the houses, you know? But you see you see the, the property taxes and stuff like that up there. Like, North Carolina it is. South Carolina it is. You understand? But I don't know what eat crow mean, man. Eat crow. I might take that a different way. Henry Ross says, St. Louis is the effeminate from the scriptures that says wouldn't inherit the kingdom of God. <laughs> called called St. Doofus effeminate. And he comes off like that, man. A lot of them come off like that. A lot of them do. You know what I mean? Concerned and worried about another man and what they do at the end of the day. And here it is. A lot of them got wives at home, kids at home. But yet they think about other men 24-7 over the internet. This is over the internet. This is social media. And these fellas think that way. That's all they know. Wake up, YouTube, Tony Harvey. What can I say about him? I got, I got to make a different name to go on his chat. Because I know he comes on around, I don't know, 4 p.m. to about 7 sometimes. Me, he come on earlier. I got to I gotta say something to him. You know what I mean? If I disagree with somebody, I'm not wasting my time on them doing all that. All right? He says, hey, Johnny, bring your – I ain't going to say that. I, I don't I, – and this, I ain't, I ain't mean to put that up there. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I ain't going to put that up there. Y'all funny, man. Y'all going in, man. They ain't letting up on y'all, man. Y'all must have said something crazy over the internet because they not letting up on y'all. I'm trying to be easy on them. I'm trying to be easy on Johnny and uh, what you what, what you just brought up his son, Khalid, Kalal, however you pronounce his name. They must have done something or said something because these people are really letting them have it. They letting them have it. You know, it's almost like parallel to when I put up the video with um Charles Duell, I mean they was letting that they was letting him have it. And yeah, I do the same thing to Johnny Robinson. Man, letting this man have it. Um, Edwards Construction. You said Mr. V Mr. Vegas made songs, excuse me, made millions from a song that he's saying uh called She's a a Ho. I'm shocked Pastor Gary from Jamaica let him uh get away with the stunt. Well, I heard that song and what have you. But if somebody uh, feels as though they want to have a biblical discussion, I guess that was in reference to, you know, uh, out there in Jamaica. And, you know, Mr. Vegas, you know, he, he got a little buzz in his days still doing his little shows and whatnot. And he wanted to step up to the plate uh, and what have you. You know, I guess to prove himself. But I do remember that song, along with Heads High. I know a lot of us heard that song when we was young, Heads High, and what have you. What's up to Solomon? What up, what up, what up? <laughs> you said the man was recording. You said this man, uh, I ain't, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord, forgive me for laughing. For real, y'all, y'all, y'all let this man have it. Y'all done knocked this man out. He done woke up. Y'all knocked him out again. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to know what he said for y'all to be doing that. All right, y'all going in? Um, he says, "Hey Tony, I heard this man say that Pastor Doug Whip S.C. Johnson." Dud or, 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 or was it was it Dud or Rudd? Let me see. Let me see if I can find that Essie Johnson uh, discussion. Essie Johnson. Is it Rudd or Dud? Yeah, 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 Rudd. So I guess he was talking about, you know, Essie Johnson and um, 
this is a, a old debate probably like what probably like 60 70 years ago this debate is 60 or 70 years ago we wasn't even thought about amongst our grandparents you know because a lot of our parents wasn't born well mine wasn't at the time 60 70 years ago and this stuff is still good to listen to a man who been dead for 60 or 70 years dead you understand but his preaching is still powerful in these days sc johnson i mean bishop hunter he's he's all right bishop hunter he all right you understand and there's a lot of old time preachers man they preach fire you know we see a lot of these modern preachers so-called preachers joel austin you ain't gonna get nothing out of that listen you ain't gonna learn no bible listening to joel austin no you know what i mean you could pop in a uh a sc johnson old clip and you will get more out of that clip than you get than you can get from all of joe's austin whole youtube channel if you listen to just one video on sc johnson that's it just listen to one you know what i mean it'll it'll wipe away all of joe austin's teachings all of it Creflo dollar too you know what I mean? Man been dead for 60, 70 years. That's that's the crazy part right there. Like like Gino said, these these folks out here is living, preaching, so-called preaching, and they can't even preach nobody nothing. They just motivate them, pump them up. You know what I mean? They just pump them up, make them feel hyper. So it can, so it can loosen the grip on their hands to give them money. It's easy one, two, three. But he did, uh, Mr. Robinson, um, he did give uh, Gino respect. Let's go back to the video. He did give Gino some respect in this video uh, and whatnot. Let's go to it. All right. Right quick. Let me see. Let's play it. I uh, just missed it. I think it's at timestamp 1650. Just, you know, how is it that you like somebody who is teaching error when it comes to the Godhead? Because, you know, in First John 2, I believe it's 19 and 20, if you deny Jesus, the Christ, the Son, and the Father, that's the, you're the Antichrist. And so I don't want him to do that. I don't want him to do that because of the fact as successful as he might be, then that puts... I don't think it's over here. I think it's this one right here. The salt of the world, salt of the earth is supposed to change you and change you into more Christ-like. And I would say the things that he is saying to those, to the individuals that he's talking to, to his uh, different communities where he is, it is certainly a good message on that level. This okay, the man gave Gino some credit. Gave Gino some credit. All right, what's up, the peculiar? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Solomon said, Gino debated quite a few people, I believe, and beat them asunder with the Bible. <laughs> all right, he says, no, he says uh, the question was for you. How did you get close to PJ? Uh, to him having, to have him calling you on your phone to talk. Well, I mean, I... Uh, you know what? You, you ask, you ask, you ask some questions, man. So I answer and whatnot. You know, I don't know if you if you heard my testimony and what have you. You know, of course, you know we do the YouTubes and whatnot and stuff like that, and you know promote the videos and things of that nature and what have you. You know, and you know a lot of us look at you know PJ as a spiritual father. At the end of the day you know what i mean besides me doing youtube and whatnot there's other people out there who got contact or whatever the case may be you know it's, it's good to have somebody you know give you advice on a lot of things and whatnot like i said it started from uh youtube and i was invited to a uh event out there in baltimore and i went you know what i mean some time ago 
and you, you you chop it up and things like that and um you know you 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 see that a person is real at the end of the day i ain't no uh elder ellis or uh kendrick murray or anything like that i'm a real one you understand i'm me personally i'm very cautious with everybody and he's the same way as he mentions in his broadcast and whatnot you know what i mean so this few people few people uh for sure you know what i mean in general that you know i would recommend folks get advice if they need it you know of course mainly the truth of god ministers and stuff like that and what have you it's not it's not it's not a format of getting too close to a person you know what i mean you got to communicate in case you know an idea happens just like the interviews and whatnot that we did with the truth of god that was his idea to have me interview the people i hope i hope it happens again in charlotte i hope he called you know me and you know minister Lionel and you know c rock and all those other youtubers out to interview people that'd be a good thing to have all them youtubers to interview people to interview people after the um after the event is over that'd be good so he came up with the idea i didn't know one day they called me early in the morning. They called me early in the morning one day. I was tired, man. You understand? I was tired yet. But when I heard the idea, man, my eyes opened like, man, that's a that's a good idea, man. So he got a, he got a lot of great ideas for sure. And I definitely respect that and for have for him considering me to conduct some interviews and whatnot, man. So I, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping it happens again in Charlotte for sure. You know, that was a great time. You know what I mean? That was definitely a great time. He says, he says his boo-boo stink, stink probably walked off and left him. That's why he's trolling. Who knows? I agree. A lot of these men out here is crazy. They want to focus on other men like uh St. Doofus and whatnot. Man, oh man. All right. So let's go to a little bit more of this. This business about not understanding God. And, you know, I'm going to say this. Geno Jennings is a product of the apostolic faith. He is a product of being raised by people who were taught by S.C. Johnson. Hmm. And so as a result of that, he has not really been in contact with. I do not believe that he has been in good contact with teaching as far as the truth is concerned about the Godhead. Okay. He uses the same Jehovah's Witness passages. The Jehovah's Witness work in Isaiah 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. They work in that segment and they are just totally confused. They have their own marching points or their own talking points and they don't deviate from them and they know them very well. And when you start out that way, it skews your thinking process. You just you just can't seem to process. And one of the things we're going to do tonight is we're going to do some processing. Now, you know, when I am talking about debating someone, I in no way have a secret. I was going to something else. Wow. All right, let's get to these comments. What's up to um what's up to Sylvia James? Shout out to you. <laughs> Classified information. Y'all, y'all, y'all killing me with these comments. <laughs> oh man, Crypt Keeper. Wow. Now that's funny. <laughs> wow, y'all killing me with these comments. Y'all going off tonight. They going off. Oh, you said eat crow means uh being humble. Oh. Uh. Wow, he says he, he says eating crow is uh what is that? A colloquium. What is that? I don't know those words. You said use in some English speaking countries that means Humiliation by admitting having been proven wrong after taking a strong position. Eat crow. Wow, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell somebody outside. Listen, eat crow. Eat crow. They're gonna be like, what? Huh? Talking about eat crow. Eat crow. Jen Ju says uh Robinson obsession with Gino is borderline stalkish. Please help uh something. I, 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 I can't read that. 
Can't read that. <laughs> what's up, Rashi? You says, what's up? I am from New York myself, but I have adjusted to Southern living down in Fayetteville, North Carolina, golf fishing and stuff. Fayetteville. Fayetteville. Listen, the South, the South is pretty quiet. You know, they don't have no poppy stores. I can't go up in there and get me a butter roll and a, a OJ box OJ anymore. You know, can't do that no more. You know, so it's just a lot of gas stations and food lines and whatnot out here. You know, they don't really have the food as up north has and whatnot, but it's pretty cool out here. And uh, it's all right out here in North Carolina. All right. Um, let me see. What's up to Gregory Carter? Shout out to you. He says, I'm from First Church with Bishop Ferguson in Nassau, Bahamas, Grantstown Temple. Wonderful. Shout out to you. you what's up to Maurice? He says, Trump selling Bibles for um, $5,995. Really? Man, that's another that's another thing in the stories. Trump's, I'm going to look it up. Trump's Bible right quick. Oh, $59. 59. Oh, that's what you meant. My fault. I thought you meant five thousand and nine hundred and ninety-five dollars the way you wrote it. You forgot you for listen, you forgot the uh the period in between the nine nines. He's selling a Bible for sixty dollars. Donald Trump. Ah oh, man, you listen. Uh-uh. I don't listen. I don't know what's going on with that. Donald Trump is selling Bibles. Wow. That's crazy. Um, let me see. Uh, who, who I missed. He says, do you know how um, Elder Dan Thompson health is? No, I don't. I, I don't know. That part, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, y'all, it's funny. <laughs> These comments is funny. What's up, the Master Wu? These comments is hilarious. Who says watching the bridge update? Everyone is uh very emotional, very sad. Well, with the bridge situation, as I explained earlier, it was not. I mean, it's a sad situation, but I would hope, I would hope those people knew Christ. I will say that. I would hope that. You know what I mean? I would I would definitely hope that. You know, one we can't walk around thinking nothing can happen to us at all. Anything can happen to uh, anybody at it, any given time. Like something like that. You know, just just imagine you're just on a bridge, you know, trying to get to your destination. And then boom, that's it for you. You know what I mean? That is it for you. What a way to go out. Man. <laughs> oh, man, that comments, man. He said Kenneth Copeland. Wow. Um, You says North Carolina Wild Kruger uh, just killed a young boy. Really? All right, I got some stories today. Let me see. Let me look that up right quick. I don't see nothing in the news about that one. Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't see that. Where you get that story from? Where you get that story from at um, Water Blood Spirit? What's up, the Paulette? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. Ah <laughs> oh, man, you funny classified information. You're funny. AG says get to your destination at 1:30 a.m. 1:30 a.m. in the morning is when that bridge collapse collapse, excuse me. 1:30. You know, either either you're going to work, mainly like truck drivers and maybe a firefighter, police officer and whatnot. 
You know, some people probably had some booty calls. I'm being real. You know what I mean? 1.30 in the morning, racing over that bridge. And that's a long bridge right there. Kind of a long bridge. You know what I mean? And you just die off like that. That's crazy. That's real crazy right there. You know? Um, he says these these guys be chasing PJ to debate him instead of teaching the word, more focus on clout uh than souls. Mm. I'm dead serious. You know, listen, we all been through situations like that, where as though you know it's 11, 12, 1, 2 in the morning before we got saved and stuff like that, before we start really going to church, we got those calls. You know, so just imagine a man or a woman, well, of course, probably mostly the man, is going to see that woman. And you stuck on a bridge. And boom, that's it for you. And the last thing on your mind was going to get some cutty. That's crazy. That's crazy. He says, a long, weak bridge in Baltimore. You know what? I agree. Because it, it didn't look like that ship uh, hit that bridge that hard. It didn't look like it hit it that hard at all. You know what I mean? Um, he says the eight-year-old boy was in the woods when he was attacked by a Kruger. I don't... It's not... Um, it says an eight-year-old boy killed after rotten tree fell on him while playing in the woods. I see. That's what I see in the news. I, I don't know in reference to a Kruger. You said a Kruger. That's what you're talking about? Let me know. So as we talked about uh, this debate that possibly can happen according to Mr. Johnny Robinson, a possible debate, and a lot of us know how um, it would turn out. You know, I, you know, you know me, I like uh, to see biblical discussions in general. And this is one debate that I find interesting. 24 years, huh, Mr. Robinson? 24 years. You better come with your A game if you've been waiting that long. 24 years, you better have been in the gym doing some push-ups with the scriptures, hitting the bags. You better be on your Mayweather. You know what I mean? You, you should have been in the gym for 24 years, getting it in to make sure you prepared. You got 24 years of studying. Just imagine that. The man said he was trying to get a debate for 24 years. 24 years of studying. Imagine that. You've been studying for 24 years for, for a biblical discussion, and, and it, it's, it might happen according to you. Man, you better be coming with some heat, dude. You better be coming with some heat. From the first round on. You know what I mean? <laughs> From the first round on. Tw appreciate that uh, classified information. Thank you for the support of this YouTube channel. I definitely appreciate it. God bless you and your family to classify um, information. 24 years. The man said that. Imagine that. He did all he did all that training, he did all that studying, and just get blown out the way easy. Imagine that. He said he better stay in them shallow waters. <laughs> Gregory Carter says, um, he's coming with everything we've seen so far. He said he's coming with uh, Hebrew, Greek, Latin, and misunderstanding. <laughs> He says, oh, so a ship hit the bridge, causing it to break. That captain is in so much trouble. Well, I think they said the power had went out on the ship and what have you. But the ship, it looks as if it didn't hit the bridge hard. It almost seemed like if anything hit that bridge, it was going to fall. It was too weak and whatnot. But there, there's going to be a lot of lawsuits and whatnot, a whole lot. Them two people who made it out, I know they shook up and what have you, but they're about to become rich. 
Not that it's about money. You know what I mean? But they're going to have a lot of lawsuits. You understand? Especially with those families who have died. Who their family members have died in that. Heavy lawsuits. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. From the uh, the shipping crew, excuse me, from the shipping company to the uh, to the to the bridge people, to the city, to the state. That's a big mess right there. You know what I mean? I've never heard anything like that. You know what I mean? A ship just hitting a bridge and then fall down like that. I've never seen anything like that. All right. Um. Let me see. Uh, e says, um, "Greetings, Th. Will the debate be made public? It would be a great. It would be great if it could happen in July in Char in Charlotte. Well, that's what I wanted it to happen. But somebody said it was going to happen in August. But you know, if in Charlotte, man, that that'd be beautiful. That'd be a beautiful thing. You know." What's up to um, K. Brandon? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. He said, Gino knows the word. He said, Gino P. says, 24-year head start just to get rocked. Absolutely. He says, double power failure. Mm. That's crazy. Shouldn't a ship have emergency brakes or something like that? Or anchor? Right? Shouldn't if the power go out? I mean, there should be some type of emergency brakes, stopper, anchor, something. You know. All right. Henry Ross states that the mayor got sued too for signing off on it. You said the bridge. Wow. He says no matter how much money they have, they. The the, uh, the truth cannot be bought. The truth uh, must be who you are. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? At uh, Mary, shout out to you. Um, what's up, the uh, Deanna Faye? You says thank you, Jesus. All praises belong to Thy uh, glory to God. Absolutely. You know, but as we was going on with this uh, supposed debate that's going to happen. According to you, Mr. Johnny Robinson, you, and I know there's going to be a lot of trolls out there. They're going to be upset. Oh, wow. Why we didn't get to the beat? Why, why we can't get a discussion? Well, look what you're doing over the internet. You're being a fool. You know, all you got to do is be respectful at the end of the day. You know, Johnny Robinson. Wow. He says, do boats have brakes? Now I want to find out. <laughs> Gino P says, ain't PJ going to be in Africa in August? Uh, I'm not sure. I believe so. I think we looked at the schedule the other day, too. He says, he says show old girl again. <laughs> oh, man. These trolls are funny. We got we got we got we got to show these classic videos before we log off. I forgot the woman name. I think her name was like Bridget or something like that. But this is too funny. Oh, here we go. Right, here. I think this is it right here. You know, I found the video. Uh, she she seemed to be getting a little bit of traction on this video too. All right, here go another troll right here. It may be it may be Johnny Robinson. You could bring her with you too, man. You know, you could bring her too with you. You know, uh Bridget. I think she called herself a preacher or something like that. You better keep your mouth off the man of God. You better keep your mouth off the woman of God. I hear you only go brush and die. Everything you thought that, that was wise and up is gonna is a fall right down at your peak. It's gonna crumble. Are you hearing the Holy Spirit? That's why God said, I've given you a heart, a heart of compassion, that you can feel the hurt of someone other. You can feel the pain of another. You can feel all those things of a Oberoku Poya. Oberoku Poya. Wow. 
Wow. He says, <laughs> he says, please. He says, play crybaby, please. He want me. He want me to play the crybaby. <laughs> Yo, y'all funny, man. That's funny, man. <laughs> he said, brother Tony, you and I uh, drive big trucks, and with the load, you don't just stop on a dime. So imagine a cruise ship. Well, listen here, man. You understand? You got to at least try. <laughs> at least try. You know, with a, with, a, with a truck. If I'm in a situation, well, some trucks, some trucks are equipped with like, like cars. Like when they're approaching a collision or something like that, it automatically... Uh, it, it it automatically uh slows down you know what i mean i was in the i forgot what type of vehicle i was in that done that in a, in a truck did it one of the trucks i was in before it did it one time all right but you know you write about that one you said she belongs on saturday night live what's up to Sion? you said who's that <laughs> <laughs> hey Johnny Robinson, man, bring her with you. Bring her with you, man. Oh, nothing. I hear the Holy Spirit and I take that old stony heart out of you, and I put a heart of flesh. But some of you all deliberately allowing the devil to use you. Deliver, deliver this. You know why? You talking about Jake's you no know, receiving a million dollars? I, I, I bet you probably be on. You know why? You talking about Jake's you no know, receiving a million? Oh Jesus! Because he knew that it was gonna take earthly things to to oh my God! It was gonna take earthly things for you to be to to oh my God! It was gonna take earthly things. Wow, this is crazy right here, man. He said her voice is cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh man, this is funny. This is hilarious. Oh man, these 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 folks are funny, man. These folks, these folks are funny, man. These folks are funny. These folks are funny. Yo. Wow, these folks are funny, man. For you to be sustained, thank you, Holy Spirit. The things of the earth. You stop all that foolishness. You stop get get off of that bandwagon because somebody said get off of that bandwagon. Are you hearing the Holy Ghost? Get off of that bandwagon wagon that's called foolish. That's called ignorance. That's called. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. I ain't, I ain't listened to this last part uh, when I played this. This is my first time listening to the to the end. This is another classic, man. This is another classic. You know what I mean? I don't know which one is more funnier. Y'all can vote on this one. Which one is more funnier? This guy right here? You understand? This guy right here? All right? Yo. This guy right here or this woman who just going on with her nonsense? Y'all got, got to let me know, man. No, whatever the evil ain't nobody mad with that line, no good for nothing, Lucifer. He don't have no power over you, he don't have no authority over you, he don't have no that motor son that he got out to you. <laughs> oh man, this is crazy, man. Wow, that's crazy right there, man. He says mental mental illness is is riff. He says she had a rough night. Wow. He said, all those dentures. He says, played that video about five times on her. Uh, her channel is so funny. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? He said, we live, we still live. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. What's up to Oliver Jordan? Shout out to you. Hope all is well. What's up to Jordan? He says, my God is, he says, my God is dangerous game. Mm. Wow. David B, you says she thinks she's preaching. 
<laughs> oh man, that was hilarious right there. It says wig attack soon. Johnny Counter says, hey, uh, What up, Johnny? Shout out to you. Says duct tape her mouth, duct tape for her mouth. I was expecting people to bash Gino on her channel. He says, Boy, was I wrong? Mm. He said, Does she speak in tongues? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He says, Them women hands down. Uh, this is why women shouldn't be in the pulpit, Henry Ross states. Oh, uh, for sure. As we come to a conclusion, you know, we're coming to a conclusion for sure. You know, as we discuss this situation with Mr. Um, Johnny Robinson uh, and whatnot, of course, we, you know, we like to have our little clean labs and whatnot, you know, with, you know, so-called preachers like this so-called woman preacher and whatnot. And we tend to, you know, have a good time when we have these uh, conversations and what have you. What's up to Vivian uh, Whitmore? What up, what up, what up? So if you got any last comments, any last remarks to what we talked about in general, uh, we talked about uh, Mr. Trump with his Bibles and what have you, the Maryland Bridge collapse, you know, and it was something else that y'all mentioned that I uh, forgot. He says, why you leave? Well, Tony, I got to get up in the morning, man. I'm tired too. I am tired, you know. Um, I was supposed to do, I was going to do a part four or oh, uh, Gino is the realest, but I saw this, you know, uh, topic a day or two ago and it's decided to talk about it. Who knows when part four is going to come out. We're definitely going to touch on it. Definitely going to talk about it. I think we on part four or part five. Let me know. I think we on part four. I think we got to make uh part four. All right. He said, do you have jib brakes on your truck to help you slow down? Jib brakes? What is jib brakes? I never heard of that. He says, now I'm going to watch it five more times. You're welcome, man. Mary, shout out to you. Appreciate that. Right back at you at Henry Ross. Hope all is well. He says, good night. Good night to you, too. Oh, Jake brakes. To, to my knowledge, no. To my knowledge, no. Yo, what are you talking about with quarter water? He says, do quarter water. What is that? The only quarter waters I know is back in the hood in Jersey City. You know what I mean? When we used to go to the store as kids and get it for like 25 cents. That's the only quarter waters I know. You know what I mean? So what 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 topic are you are you referring to to quarter waters? You know, you, you, you are you referring me to do a topic on 25 cent juices back in the hood. You know what I mean? He says, How can I um send Sister Stiff Lip some fixing it so she, she can talk right? Wow. <laughs> Appreciate that at William. Appreciate that. I don't know what you're referring to at uh blood, water, blood, and spirit. He says the word is here for developing that strong mind to defend yourself against um, that deceit. He says we on part four, the realest topic. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. You know, part four. You know what I mean? Thank y'all for encouraging to keeping those parts going. You know what I mean? Definitely. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking to do uh, more videos like that. You know what I'm saying? Part part four is whatever interesting topic we come up with, you know, part one, part two, along with the uh regular conversation number and whatnot. So it's definitely a blessing uh to have us conversate like this the way we do around this time, uh and what have you. So I hope everybody have a wonderful night. You definitely get some good laughs on here. You know, even people who are quiet, even quiet people. Even the people who are quiet, who don't who don't say nothing on here, and they've been on here for a while, they contact me. Man, that's funny, man. That person right there is hilarious. What you said is funny. Not that it's about jokes and whatnot, but sometimes, you know, laughter helps the soul. Clean laughs. Clean laughs. You know, so some people, some people look forward to conversations like this. 
because it could help them through the day, it could help them through the night and what have you. You know what I mean? Which is a good thing, to, you know, because it's therapeutic for a lot of people to have a conversation like this and whatnot, to have clean jokes. You know what I mean? We're not talking about a bunch of nonsense and what have you. We're not at the end of the day. But, you know, for some people, this stuff is very therapeutic for, for them. You know what I mean? And then Gino could, you know, kill him with the word on Sundays and what have you <laughs> and whatnot, for sure. So we can have a conversation here on, you know, throughout the week and Saturdays and whatnot and Sundays sometimes. But Mr. Jennings and the True God ministers, they will kill you with the word. You know, it's a good kill for the soul. All right. They resurrect you. All right. So good night to everybody out there. I appreciate everybody for coming on and whatnot. Those in the background, you know, uh, got more videos coming to this YouTube channel. You know, I'm still working on my shorts shorts coming on uh the live videos still working on a lot of ideas and what have you a lot of ideas i got all right looking forward to see how they work certain videos i want to see how it is i'm going to check the temperature to certain videos i put out to see what type of um reception received from the uh the people and what have you all right you said laughter and smiles are good for the facial muscles <laughs> facial muscles that's the first all right god bless everybody out there i'm tony harvin i'm signing off may you all have a wonderful night all right god bless i'm out peace hey what's up youtube this is tony harvin and welcome to the tony harvin network youtube channel if you like hit that subscribe button listed right here after you hit the subscribe button if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this youtube channel hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell.